Welcome to BrewTuber. I'm Dan. And I'm Julia, and today we're here in Woodridge, Illinois at Skeleton Key Brewery. Let's open the door to delicious beer. We had the awesome fortune of having a wonderful phone conversation with Emily, who's one of the owners here at Skeleton Key. We're gonna play you a little bit of that phone combo right now. An EF3 tornado blew through town. It started in, um, started in Naperville. You know, you're hearing all sorts of conflicting reports, so you're just sort of keeping an eye on what's going on. And I think it was like two o'clock in the morning, and I was listening to the police scanner, and so it's like this mechanical voice just saying, severe structural damage, 8102 Lamont Road, Skeleton Key Brewery, and my stomach just, I mean, my heart just dropped into my stomach. Really fortunate no one was here and no one got hurt. Especially fortunate for the support that we got from the craft beer community and just the local community itself as well. One of the main reasons that we started BrewTuber and why we're doing what we're doing is because we are huge fans of supporting the Illinois craft brewery scene. Everybody has been so accepting and nice and we just really want to give back to that and expose everybody to what awesome beers are out there and the creativity and the art. We want to bring these amazing experiences to you so you can then in turn check them out. Skeleton Key is an example of resilience and overcoming adversity in the most troubling of times. You really got to come out here and support this awesome brewery. Tangerine Pineapple Skeltzer. This is a hard seltzer. That is light and bubbly, tangerine forward, mixed in with that pineapple. It definitely has, a, they list it as organic fruit essences. Um, really nice just finish that you get from it, but also it's a 6%, which again, I always love, because you're like, I'm gonna drink this real fast, because it's good, but don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> this one's the Half Murderer. This is a Session IPA. Let's see. Mm. Wow, that is awesome. Lots of depth of flavor for that one. They make it with citrus, centennial, and Simcoe hops. So there's a lot of like awesome uh, citrusy blended notes with a lot of like, they, it, there's a bit of bitterness in there which cleans it up mm. super nice. I mean, it's very <laughs> balanced, it's very crisp. Mm -hmm. It's an awesome, refreshing, light IPA. Great for if you're not into super intense like palate crushers, mm -hmm. this is a great one. It's like <laughs> Fruit Loops. Totally got Fruit Loops. <laughs> This is the Burrowing Goofo. This is a hazy IPA. Oh yeah. That, you totally get tangerine, mango, Idaho 7 and Simcoe hops we got going on here. Nice, light finish to that, but you've got to have that juiciness of that hazy IPA and they capture that perfectly. They really do. And I love that they balance the juiciness with a little bit of like a bitter cleanse at the end of it. I think this make, makes it all the more refreshing and just delicious. And the music went out. <laughs> I feel self-conscious. Both were like, <laughs> like eh. this one's called Indomitable. This is a double rye IPA. Let's see. Ooh, yeah. I don't think we've had one of these yet. We are just growing. Woo! Oh, dude. This one has a bit more of a medium body for an IPA, so it's a bit thicker, but it's Awesome, it's also darker too. I mean, it is a, definitely you can get the rye presence in here in this IPA. Lots of notes of orange, lots of notes of pine. It's got a lot of depth of flavor, which makes this one like Ooh. awesome, okay? I feel like this is a rock star. That is really good. Fall time, winter time, even like toward the tail oh, of the wow. spring, especially us Midwesterners here, you know. 
you sometimes need something that'll like brighten you up, but also like warm you inside. That's so good. Dude. You know? <laughs> this is the migratory. This one is a toasted coconut ale. Oh, yeah. They say that this is one of their more popular beers and definitely can see why with this one. You get that toasted coconut feel right out of the gate. It's not too overpowering, easy to drink. It's like toasted coconut cream pie. That's what it is. Totally. Literally, like in a beer. Yeah. You're just gonna compare food to beers. <laughs> Millions of people. Living as far away. At least nobody's eating brunch this time. <laughs> This one's called Noir Wall. This is a black IPA. Mm. I'm super excited. <laughs> that is like <laughs> smoky. I mean, there's definitely roasted malts in there, right? That kind of mm. differentiates the, the black IPA style. Oh, yeah. So you get this awesome smokiness balanced with the nice mm -hmm. citrusy hops that they, they bring into it, which are mm. Simcoe and Amarillo, which are rock stars in the IPA game. Mm -hmm. This is just a really awesome beer. I would want this like by a fireplace or like eating some barbecue, you know what I mean? This is also a collab with Bubble House Brewing and all of y'all knocked it out of the park. This is Julia picks a beer based off of a graphic and today's pick is the Seventh Evil X. Graphic is amazing, really sleek artwork. Actually, I'm pretty obsessed with all of the graphics here at Skeleton Key. This is the seventh evil X. This one is a Schwarz beer. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> you, you think you're drinking a real dark beer? You could have fooled me on this one. It's a dark beer. It's super mm. light. It's smoky. That is trippy, actually. Like, when I tried that, I was like, oh. Totally has the lager elements to it. This one's called Nerds for the Rules. This one is an English porter. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> Definitely get hints of chocolate in there, but I almost get like this awesome, like raisin taste. Like there's a lot and like some smoke too. There's a lot of like depth. It's got, this is super unique mm. for a porter, and I love that about it. Really it's good. not like any other porter that I have ever wow. tried. This one will take you to Flavortown, Guy Fieri. Yes. I hope that's not like a uh, copyright. Oh, Guy Fieri. No. Hey, go f yourself, Guy Fieri. <laughs> So here at Skeleton Key, they actually have three spaces that you can hang out in. So we are actually currently in the lounge, which is like the bigger of their spaces. Um, so they have this beautiful central bar um, with wonderful like foliage and skeletons and all that wonderfulness, okay? And then we have the family room where you can actually bring your family and hang out and grab a brew. And then they have the den, which is sort of your more like Obviously, you're around like the vats and everything where they make the brews. So you have a different sort of more dimmer sort of atmosphere in the den. So be sure to check out one of those awesome spaces here. Skeleton Key also has live music and food pop-ups that come here regularly. Just be sure to check their website for upcoming events and dates you don't want to miss out on. Also, another unique offering that Skeleton Key has is they offer classes. Um, they have classes in beer pairings and cheese and how to make mead, and a lot of them sell out. So make sure that you go on their website and check out all the details so you can sign up for a class yourself. Thanks for watching, BrewTubers. Just a reminder that you have to be 21 or older to drink in Illinois. Be sure to like and subscribe. Smash that bell icon for some notifications anytime we post a video. And we want you to comment down below, what's your favorite beer from Skeleton Key? We want to know. We'll respond back to you, I promise you. As always, be responsible, tip your tenders, and drink local. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks, Skeleton Key.